hello guys welcome to my channel this video is in continuation to the last video where i had created a vpc a public subnet and a route to internet gateway so in this uh, demo we will be creating a private subnet and a net gateway in the public subnet and a route table pointing to the net gateway and we will associate this route table to our private subnet so in this private subnet we will create a machine which would be our database server and this database server would not be accessible from the internet but it would be able to access the internet through net gateway so let's get started i am in my management console we go to ec2 here we have one ec2 instance running which was which is our web server so in this diagram this web server is already set up and running you can watch my previous video where i have created this vpc public subnet web server net gateway and the route table i will provide the link in the description box so now in this video we are going to create this private subnet part so first of all let us create a subnet select the vpc your custom vpc where your uh, public subnet is uh, located So in this diagram we can see the public subnet for public subnet we had given the CIDR block 10.0.1.0 slash 24 which is the subset of VICT VPC CIDR block. Similarly for the private subnet we are giving CIDR block as 10.0.2.0 slash 24. So we have created our subnet. Now we have two subnets, public subnet and private subnet. Now let us create a net gateway. Before creating the net gateway, let us create an EC2 instance which will be our DB server. Instance I take it at to micro which is free tier eligible. Key pair I already have. You can create a new key, key pair if you don't already have it. And for the network settings we have to select our custom VPC. And the subnet we will select as private subnet. And auto assign public IP will be disabled. We don't want uh, public IP with this instance. And for security groups, uh, we will select the source as our VPC CID block so that this instance can only be accessible from within the network. So our ECD instance is launched. So now we have our DB server up and running. Let us connect to this DB server from the web server. From this web server we will connect to the database server internally as these are in same network. So grab the DB server private IP. And now we are connecting to the web server or public instance. So SSH into the db server i have already placed the pam key in this server 
it seems we are not able to connect but let us see what is the issue let us check the sec uh, security group for our db server yeah in the security group there is an issue we had given the wrong cidr block this cidr block will, should be the cidr block of the vpc so let us edit this less 16 now let us connect again yes we are uh, able to connect to the database server from our web server internally now let us check if we are able to connect to the internet so we can't connect to the internet so if we see this diagram to enable this database server to connect to the internet we want a net gateway and a route to the net gateway so let us first create a net gateway to create a net gateway go to bpc net gateways create net gateway select the subnet public subnet we need to select the subnet in which we have to create the net gateway so the net gateway will be created in the public subnet now we want an elastic ip for the net gateway so we don't have any elastic ip so we will allocate one create net gateway so our net gateway is in the process of creation it would take some time so i will pause the video and will get back to you so the net gateway is now created it took around five minutes to create this net gateway so now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a route table which will uh, point to the net gateway as a target and we will associate this route table to our private subnet let us create a route table so our private route table is created then we need to associate our the subnet private subnet to this route table we are still not able to access the internet from within this db server so in the in our private uh, route table routes we have not still added the route to the net gateway so edit add route destination will be internet and the target would be net gateway So what we just did is, we added this route to our route table. Now let us check if we are able to access the internet or not. Yes, now we are able to access the internet from our DB server. So this was all about in this video. If you like the demo, please leave a comment and consider subscribing to my channel for more such videos. Thank you.